Hey, Judd here. We're going to do an unboxing. Yesterday, I made a purchase of a Gorilla Cart Easy Dumping 600 pound 4 cubic foot poly dump cart. Some assembly required. Simple assembly, it says right here. Zero turn steering, impact resistant poly bed, extra wide stability. It's got big tires. I've got a lot of dirt to move in my yard, and my garden cart's only got two wheels. So I'd load that up and I'd have to lift one end of it and the loads I was carrying, it was too heavy, killed my back. So I said, I need a four-wheeler. And lo and behold, I was over at Lowe's, lo and behold, and found this yesterday. This was $99. Now we're going to open it. Lots of tape and staples on it. I'm understanding the some assembly required at this point. Oh, big handle. This is the dump handle. Spring loaded. Okay, two of the tires. Pulling handle. One nylon straps. Ooh, hardware. Okay. Do the dumping ability. Okay, no tire. Oh, look at this, no framework. Okay, and instructions, and thank you. So that lifts off the big bolt here. Okay, and there's the frame for under the cart. And here are parts all numbered and labeled. Or labeled with numbers. And I'm assuming the instruction sheet refers to that. Okay. Oh, this tips too. Okay, everything's tipping. Chippy cart two. Okay, you can go there. Oh uh, my hardware, let me see. A metric thirteen or an adjustable wrench. Okay, we're gonna start with one. side goes in the case and the washer and nut go out here. There's a depression in the mold on the inside to fit the bolt head. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this over and just put those babies in there. There we go. There we go.
Step one complete. Step two. Ah, this way. Okay. And that don't fit. Okay, this does not line up. Okay, but it is adjustable. Ha ha ha. Okay, and that is packet number two. Hardware number two. Too long is too short. We're going to go through from the other side. These are the nuts with the nylon in the top that make them stiff once they get on. So they're like walking nuts. <coughs> Make sure these all set correctly. Yep. Okay, they're all sitting flush. That's good. Okay, on to step three. Okay, step three is the other piece. I've got a socket big enough for this, but I don't feel like getting up and getting it. Five. I'd like
like this thing. This is a very nice way to do this. If you've ever built anything by Ikea, you'd be damn grateful for this. They give you a bag of stuff and they say, go find one of these. Okay, bolt and washer go on the inside in this case. Guessing the next step is the handle. Ha! Ah, because I'm clever like that. Uh, turning. Oh, six. Oh, I skipped ahead. I did seven. Ah, that's step seven. Step six is put on the handle. So don't make that mistake. For God's sake, put on the handle before you do the lift. I may have just voided the warranty. And the washer goes with the nut. Okay. And the handle goes this way. There's a bend in the handle. Okay. Well, I think we can agree ah, this was a pretty simple assembly. But I do got to throw up these tires. These tires got no air in them. Ah. Okay, there we go. All right. Didn't understand, do not feel, blah, 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 blah. Uh, not intended for highway use. Do not exceed five miles per hour. Okay, 30 PSI for the tires. That's what I wanted to know. Time to fire up the compressor and pump this baby up. There's my car, all done. Zero turning radius. Boom, look at that. Oh man, that's for real, huh? And then dump. If you want to over dump, you can over dump. Okay. Well, it work better if I had the wheels this way. Yeah. Okay, See, so you can over dump if you're having trouble getting that load out. Yeah, look at that. That's a clever little innovation there. Okay, there you go. Woo! I assume you know how to put air in a tire, so I shall end off here and say happy day to you. <laughs>